contest here in the William B. Gordon Holiday Classic Tournament. On the scoreboard, the visiting team will be the Luther High School of Kansas City Knights. All right, welcome to game seven of eight today in the William D. Gordon Gymnasium on the campus of Drexel High School, the third annual William D. Gordon Holiday Classic, the two-seated Chilhowee Lady Indians, the seven-seated Knights, Lady Knights of Lutheran. The ball gonna be controlled in the backcourt by Lutheran, and they're gonna bring it across the timeline. Get it off on the wing, back out front they go. Handoff now for Yoder. Yoder's going to let it fly. Rebound by Miller inside. She's going to clear out. Gets it off for Smith, and Smith going to bring it up. Kaylee Miller with the rebound to Smith. Up to the corner now for Miller. Lexi Miller has it back out front for Olivia Smith to Dean. Dean's got it on the wing. Left side between the circles. Back out front for Lankford. Lankford's got it. Going to try to set up her offense. Here goes over to the wing for Dean. Between the circles for Smith. Smith looking inside, now goes over to the wing. Playing a little four in, or four out, one in, and they get it inside for Miller, and Miller kind of forced that one. And there's a jump ball gonna stay with Chill Howie there. So Lady Indians gonna have the ball. Dean to pass it in. They get it in to Lexi Miller off her knee and out of bounds. Going to go back the other way. So 7.04 to go here. First quarter, no score in this one. Blinkovich into the corner. Back up top, they're going to go. A little dribble drive now, kick over. And a long pass over to Plinkovich on the left side wing. Back out front to... Mankin, Mankin puts it in 4-2. That's an early 2-0 lead for the Lady Knights. Lutheran to Dean. Sorry, Lankford to Dean, and Dean hits the triple, and it is 3-2. Riley Dean. Two back the other way by Mankin is good, and it's 4-3. Back-to-back -back lead changes here. Into the corner for Dean, out of the corner. She's looking to pass inside for Miller. And Mankin takes it back the other way. Lexi with the rebound. Lexi's gonna push it. Looking for Dean, gonna stop. Pass it to Dean, Dean can't connect. Now off of Miller, out of bounds. It's gonna stay with the Lady Indians. Four to three, the score. 
early on. Lutheran with the early lead. Hit it in to Lankford. Lankford dribble drives, kick out. Three ball on the way. Good by Riley Dean. And it is six to four. Two triples by Dean. Get it off the other way, Plinkovich. That one misses. Almost off the hands of Dean and out of bounds. With five and a half to go in the first quarter. 6-4, Lady Indians with the lead. Jumper no good. Plinkovich with the rebound. Kicks it out. Mankin from 18. No. Rebound inside. Picked up by Riley Dean. Dean off for Miller. And Kaylee Miller's got it. And she's going to fire it ahead for Langford. Underneath wide open is Lexi Miller. And it's 8-4, Lady Indians. And Lexi Miller with her first two of the game. And it's a four-point lead. They go inside with it. Good defense by Dean. Now a double team on Lexi Miller. Get it back for Langford. And Langford going to bring it across the timeline for 47 to go here in the first quarter. 8-4 Lady Indians with the lead. They get it off to Dean. To Smith. Smith's got it. She's going to dribble in. Look to get rid of it. Gets it off for Miller. Miller tries to skip it over to Lankford. Knocked away but picked up by Kaylee Miller. And Olivia Smith tries to save it. Goes out of bounds and it'll go back to Lutheran with 4.25 to go in the first quarter. Mankin going to bring it up. She has all four of their points. Get it off on the wing for Plinkovich. She's going to dribble in. Going to call a hand check foul on Dean there, I believe. The foul's on Riley Dean. That's her first, team's first. Get it out front now. That is at. Avarello, Avarello with it, gets it out to Mankin. Mankin and now skips it over for Domch. And she's going to travel with it before she could drive. So, 3.59 to go first. Langford with it, get it off into the corner. Good give inside to Haley. And she is fouled going up. See if they are going to say shooting or not. I say it was on the floor. Foul is on number 15, Haley Jenkins. No, sorry. Wrong team. <laughs> Arvillo, first and team's first. So Arvalo with the foul. There's another foul called. And another foul. Mankin this time. Foul's called on Kate Mankin. Her first, team second. So an early 8-4 lead for the Lady Indians. Miller with it. She's going to try to dribble in. Dishes out for Smith to Kaylee. Kaylee over to Lexi. Lexi going to dribble drive. Now kick it in the corner. For Lankford, top of the key, Kaylee over to Smith. Smith rattles in, oh. rattles out, went off the glass, rolled around and popped out, and it's going to go back the other way. Go up top, Mankin. She's going to dribble in, now try to kick it off for Domsch, and Domsch loses it, goes back the other way. 3.08 to go in the first quarter. We'll call a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here with you. 8-4, our score early on. Took a couple minutes for them to get going, Braxton, but they are finally moving the ball around and getting some good looks. They sure are. It's 8-4 game. 3.08 left in the first quarter. So 3.08 to go here, first quarter. Seventh of eight games. Braxton will have your nightcap for you as the Chilhowee Indians take on 
and the Drexel Bobcats will be down on the floor coaching that one. I'll be interested to see how Braxton does calling that game, knowing that he lives and breathes with us in our wins and losses, <laughs> and he doesn't get frustrated while he's calling the game. May have to make his mom take over for us. So 3.08 to go. It'll be Lankford. Lankford across the timeline with it, top of the key. Gets it off, inside they go, the kick ball, they don't call it. And Lexi Miller with a reverse layup for two. Makes it 10 to four. Plinkovich in the backcourt, gonna bring it all the way across the timeline. Back between the circles for Mankin. She gets it off and out and a walk by Harmon. It's Avery Harmon. Get it off on the wing, go inside with it. Scrum for it, jump ball, gonna go back the other way. 10-4 to the score. You made another rhyme. <laughs> Braxton likes to tease when I rhyme it up. I say I'm a poet and I don't even know it. <laughs> so 2.09 to go here in the first quarter. They get it into Main Mankin. Mainchin. If I could talk. So Mankin is gonna go to the line for two. She's got all four of the points. Haley Lankford with the foul. That's her first team second. First one is good. Makes it 10 5. Mankin has five out of their five points. Has them all. That one does not go down. There's a rebound by Smith. Gets it off to Dean. Dean to Lankford. And Lankford going to bring it up with 150 to go. And a 10 5 Lady Indian lead. Get it off for Kaylee Miller. Off for Olivia Smith. Olivia Smith going to drive under. Now kick it off, baseline jumper, good. Makes it 12-5 as Haley Langford knocks it in for two. Her first basket of the game. So 12-5 the score, one and a half to go in the first. Trying to get it, Harmon tries to get it over to Plinkovich, knocked out of bounds by Plinkovich off her hands, and it goes back the other way. 12-5 is the score. And it is Yoder in for Domsch. So Domsch comes in, or Domsch goes out, Yoder comes in. Get it in to Miller, out to Dean for three. And chased down by Plinkovich. Plinkovich is going to run it in. Oh, and yep, traveled that travel. with it. So 12-5 stays the score. Try to get it in to Lexi Miller. Stone. She has six points on the night. 
And you know the you know the points she'll remember, or actually the ones that she didn't get that she'll remember. There's a bucket back the other way. That one was good by Yoder. Makes it 14 to nine at the end of the first quarter. We'll take a timeout. One, be back after this. Everyone needs a little kickstart at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so head to Sonic of Harrisonville and kick away the afternoon fog. Grab an ice cold drink full of caffeine and kickstart your afternoon and evening. The best part, 2 to 4 is happy hour and drinks are half price. Grab an afternoon snack of cheesy bites or poppers or order on the app for happy hour anytime. Sonic Happy Hour, where you kick away the fog. Also, visit 4 and sign up for the Sonic Kick Return Contest. It always seems to happen. We buy new tires and a week later we run over a nail. Not a problem when you have purchased your tires at Young's Tire and Wheel Center. You get the free flat repair for the life of your tires. On a budget, Young's has the best selection of new and used tires to save a little extra money. When the time comes for new tires, stop at the shop 4T's Trust to keep them rolling down the highway. Young's Tire and Wheel Center on South Commercial in Harrisonville. All right, eight minutes on the clock. We go to the second quarter, 14-9. Lady Indians with the lead. And the Lady Indians will get it to start this second half. Second quarter, yeah. I should say. Miller, Kaylee Miller on the basket. Was that Kaylee or Lexi? It was Kaylee. All right, so Kaylee's first bucket of the game. Get it in and stolen away as Lexi Miller comes out of there with it, gets it ahead to Olivia Smith. Olivia going to bring it across the timeline, gets it to Dean. Dean between the circles. The volleyball line now passes over for Lankford. Lankford goes to Dean. Dean inside to Miller, spin it around. Good ball movement by the Lady Indians. Good dribble drive. And to the free throw line, it goes Lankford for a pair. 16-9, Shilhawi with the lead. So Lankford at the line. Up and down it goes. Second one is good, 17 to nine. So made one of two. It's an eight point lead. Mankin drives it right past everybody. Reach in foul makes it 17, 11. Seventeen twelve. Mankin but all but two of their points here in this one. That is a take by Lankford. Make it nineteen to twelve as Lankford just parks the sea and takes it in on her own. Mankin gets it off on the baseline and a turnover. Team 12 score, Dean with it, out of the corner, back to Lankford. Lankford between the circles now, get it off on the wing for Lexi Miller. Lexi Miller into the corner, little give and go from Dean to Miller, and Lexi to Kaylee. Kaylee can't connect, gonna go back the other way, 19-12 the score. Across the timeline, and Man Mankin, no good. Rebound on the back side by Domch, and she'll go to the line for a pair. Lady 
First foul on Kaylee Miller with 6.15 to go here in the first half. 19-13 the score. Second free throw coming up. It is good. She knocks them both down. It's 19-14. Back to a five-point game. We got a timeout and a full timeout. We'll take one as well. 6.15 to go first half. 19-14. Chill Howie with the lead. When my family opened the first Culver's in Sauk City, Wisconsin, you know what we did? We gave it our all making sure everyone felt welcome. Sharing our favorite foods from around the state, like butter burgers and fresh frozen custard. Greeting every guest with all our heart, crafting each meal with care. Believe a smile makes everything taste better. And it's a tradition we bring with us yet today, from our hometown to yours. Welcome to Delicious. All right, welcome back. 6.15 to go in the first half. Welcome back to Drexel, Missouri. 19-14, to the Chilhawi Lady Indians lead. And it is Lankford passes to the corner, Miller. Miller passes to Lankford on the wing. Lankford kicks out Dean. Dean for three, connects. <laughs> Riley Dean, three three-pointers. On the night, she has nine points. All right, and a turnover right back to Chill Howie it goes. And it'll be Lankford to pass it, sorry. Lankford to pass it in to, sorry, Gardner to pass it in to Lankford. Gardner, and back to Gardner. Kaylee to Lexi to Lankford for three, connects again. Another three for the Lady Indians. 25-14 the score, Mink. Mink and gonna bring it back the other way, down by 11. They get it into the corner for Harmon. Back up front they go, that one's knocked away. Kaylee Miller with it on the rebound, gets it ahead to Haley Lankford. Lankford drops it off for Dean. Offensive rebound by Lexi Miller in a jump ball. Gonna go back to, gonna go back the other way. So 25-14 of the score. So 25-14 our score with 5.05 to go here in the first half. Alvarado with it, gonna give and go to Mankin, and Mankin puts it in for two. Uh, make it 25-16. And a Dean with the layup, no good, rattles in, rattles out. Rebounded by Lutheran. It will be Plinkovich passes to the, to the wing, Mankin kicks it to the corner, it's Dunch passes to Harmon. Harmon passes inside. Arvillo kicks out, no good, rebounded by the Indians. Lexi Miller will bring it down, passes to Lankford. Lankford layup is good. 27-16, the score, 4-10 to go here first half. Plinkovich with it, gets it over to Mankin. Mankin's got it on the wing. And stays they, with it. They call it on the Knights. Number 32, Plinkovich. That's her first. 27-16 the score. 3.55 to go first half. Lankford at the top of the key. Passes over to Smith. Smith at the wing. Passes to the corner to Dean. Dean looking for the open cut. Passes to Lankford, and Lankford cashes in on the layup. 
29-16 the score now. 13 point lead with three and a half to go. Mankin gets it off for Harmon. Harmon gonna skip it over to Plinkovich. Overthrows her and it's gonna go back the other way. And the Lady Indians get it back up by 13. And it will be Lankford. Passes to Lexi Miller. Lexi for three. Connects. Nope. Lexi Miller, her first three of the game. Kicks to Harmon. Harmon, and it's tipped by Lexi Miller. It'll be Lutheran ball and a sub. It will be Haley Jenkins in for Kaylee Miller. Plankovich to pass it in. Passes in to Aravello. Aravello passes to Mankin. Mankin passes to Plankovich. Plankovich in the dumps. And there's a foul called. I think that was Harmon. Hard to see with those numbers. Nope, it is on Mankin. That's her second, team's second. No, they call that on Dean. Oh, sorry, Dean, yes. Steal by and a steal. Miller. It's Lexi Miller. Stop, pop, and drop. Lexi Miller might have got away with a walk right there, but we're not going to say too much about that. <laughs> I bet her dad's at home watching saying, Lexi, why'd you walk with that? And Lexi will give me a hard time next week when I see her at school. She'll be like, why were you picking on me? <laughs> and I think that went out of bounds. No, it did not. And it's a jump ball. It so will stay chill Howie basketball. Two twenty-two to go here in the first half. A 34 to 16. Chill Howie Lady Indian lead. They lead it by 18. And that was just bad luck there. Haley was trying to get around it to get that. And they'll pass it in to Mankin. Mankin at the top of the key. Passes to Plinkovich. Plinkovich back to Mankin. Mankin's going to dribble drive, layup. No good. Rebound by Lexi Miller. Miller will take it down the court, passes to Gardner. Gardner's going to pass it to Lexi Miller. Miller to the corner to Langford. Langford is going to get tripped, and they're going to call a block. They're going to call the foul on Elizabeth Yoder, her first, and a timeout. Coach Buss calls a timeout. Full timeout. We will take a timeout. We'll be right back after this. One of the most important decisions you make is who cuts your hair. Don't trust just anyone. Trust Josh and the crew at Fades. From a simple cleanup to a full cut, or maybe you need to look extra good for the big game with a design, they will take care of you. Coach Grammer trusts the guys at Fades, and so should you. Located just behind Sonic off McGuire. Go see them today or visit their Facebook to set up an appointment. Welcome back to Drexel, Missouri. Chihuahua Lady Indians up 34 to 16. I want to get a, give a couple shout outs. Coach Hare, the head coach of Miami Boys and Girls, listening to the broadcast. And Tim Miller, Lexi and Kaylee Miller's dad, is listening. Yep, they're listening at home. Co uh, coach Hare wanted me to tell you you're doing a great job, Braxton. Thank you. 
So get it out on the wing. And Tim said you're doing a great job as well. And Tim's enjoying this because he got home late and he could sit at home and watch this game instead of trying to make the trip over tonight. So 34-16 the score. They could not capitalize. Braxton, take it away. And it will be Plinkovich. And it's stolen by Lexi Miller. Miller's going to stop and passes to Lankford. Lankford's going to set up the offense. Lankford into Dean. Dean kicks it out to Lexi Miller. Miller for three. No good. Rebounded by Lutheran. And it will be Plinkovich to bring it down the court. 109 to go here. And almost time. a turnover. Dribble drive by Mankin off the backboard and no. Rebounded by Dean, passes to Lankford. Lankford will bring it down the court. Passes to Lexi Miller. Miller's gonna get fouled, no shot on the floor. I, I, I gotta know, I wonder if Tim taught her how to take those fouls because she was bouncing around after she got hit in the nose on that one. They're gonna call the foul on Elizabeth Yoder. That's her second team's fourth. They'll pass it into Lexi Miller. Miller at the wing, passes into Lankford. Lankford to Gardner, Gardner, no good. Rebounded by Dean, and they're gonna call a jump ball. It will go to Kansas City Lutheran. It will be Plinkovich to pass it in to Mankin. Mankin at the top of the key, passes to Plinkovich. Plinkovich at the wing, passes back to and then passes to Harmon. Harmon passes to Plankovich. Plankovich drive, no good, and she is fouled. And that's going to be Riley Dean's third foul of the first half with 29 seconds to go. Not when you want to pick up that third foul. Two shots for Plankovich. First free throws up and no good. Twenty nine point nine seconds left here in the first half. Second free throw coming up. It's up and it is no good. Rebound offensive rebound by Mankin Mankin's gonna lay it up and lay it in. Good thing they got Mankin tonight because that is their only scoring threat. It is thirty four eighteen in this one. And it'll be Lankford at the wing, and she's gonna turn it over with five seconds left. It will be Orvalo with one second. She's gonna have to shoot it. No, she doesn't. That will end the first half. 34-18, Chilhowee Lady Indians up on the KC Lutheran Knights. We're gonna take a quick timeout, and we'll be back right after this. Everyone needs a little kickstart at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so head to Sonic of Harrisonville and kick away the afternoon fog. Grab an ice cold drink full of caffeine and kickstart your afternoon and evening. The best part, 2 to 4 is happy hour and drinks are half price. Grab an afternoon snack of cheesy bites or jalapeno poppers or order on the app for happy hour anytime. Sonic Happy Hour, where you kick away the fog. Also, visit 4 and sign up for the Sonic Kick Return Contest.
It always seems to happen. We buy new tires and a week later we run over a nail. Not a problem when you have purchased your tires at Young's Tire and Wheel Center. You get the free flat repair for the life of your tires. On a budget, Young's is the best selection of new and used tires to save a little extra money. When the time comes for new tires, stop at the shop 4T's Trust to keep them rolling down the highway. Young's Tire and Wheel Center on South Commercial in Harrisonville. When my family opened the first Culver's in Sauk City, Wisconsin, you know what we did? We gave it our all, making sure everyone felt welcome, sharing our favorite foods from around the state, like butter burgers and fresh frozen custard, greeting every guest with all our heart, crafting each meal with care, leaving a smile makes everything taste better. And it's a tradition we bring with us yet today, from our hometown to yours. Welcome to Delicious. One of the most important decisions you make is who cuts your hair. Don't trust just anyone. Trust Josh and the crew at Fades. From a simple cleanup to a full cut, or maybe you need to look extra good for the big game with a design, they will take care of you. Coach Grammer trusts the guys at Fades, and so should you. Located just behind Sonic off McGuire. Go see them today, or visit their Facebook to set up an appointment. Everyone needs a little kickstart at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so head to Sonic of Harrisonville and kick away the afternoon fog. Grab an ice cold drink full of caffeine and kickstart your afternoon and evening. The best part, 2 to 4 is happy hour and drinks are half price. Grab an afternoon snack of cheesy bites or jalapeno poppers or order on the app for happy hour anytime. Sonic Happy Hour, where you kick away the fog. Also, visit 4 and sign up for the Sonic Kick Return Contest. It always seems to happen. We buy new tires and a week later we run over a nail. Not a problem when you have purchased your tires at Young's Tire and Wheel Center. You get the free flat repair for the life of your tires. On a budget, Young's is the best selection of new and used tires to save a little extra money. When the time comes for new tires, stop at the shop 4T's Trust to keep them rolling down the highway. Young's Tire and Wheel Center on South Commercial in Harrisonville. When my family opened the first Culver's in Sauk City, Wisconsin, you know what we did? We gave it our all, making sure everyone felt welcome, sharing our favorite foods from around the state, like butter burgers and fresh frozen custard, greeting every guest with all our heart, crafting each meal with care, leaving a smile makes everything taste better. And it's a tradition we bring with us yet today, from our hometown to yours. Welcome to Delicious. One of the most important decisions you make is who cuts your hair. Don't trust just anyone. Trust Josh and the crew at Fades. From a simple cleanup to a full cut, or maybe you need to look extra good for the big game with a design, they will take care of you. Coach Grammer trusts the guys at Fades, and so should you. Located just behind Sonic off McGuire. Go see them today, or visit their Facebook to set up an appointment. When my family opened the first Culver's in Sauk City, Wisconsin, you know what we did? We gave it our all, making sure everyone felt welcome, sharing our favorite foods from around the state, like butter burgers and fresh frozen custard, greeting every guest with all our heart, crafting each meal with care, leaving a smile makes everything taste better. And it's a tradition we bring with us yet today, from our hometown to yours. Welcome to Delicious. One of the most important decisions you make is who cuts your hair. Don't trust just anyone. Trust Josh and the crew at Fades. From a simple cleanup to a full cut, good for the game, they will take care of you. Coach Grammer trusts the guys at Fades, and so should you. Located just behind Sonic off McGuire. Go see them today, or visit their Facebook to set up an appointment.
Welcome back to Drexel, Missouri. 34-18, the Chihuahua Lady Indians lead the KC Lutheran Knights. One minute and five seconds left at halftime. Start of the third quarter. So I'm going to let Braxton kind of roll with it here in the second half. I'm going to be his color commentator and see how he does. I think he'll do just fine, though. <laughs> he's done He's done well today. I'm pretty proud of the way he has done it today. I think it will be Chill Howie Lady Indians ball out of halftime. It will be Smith to pass it in to Lankford. And Lankford will be the point guard. Lankford at the top of the key passes Kaylee Miller to Lexi Miller. Back to Kaylee Miller. They're swinging around. Three pointer Lankford, no good. Rebounded by Cole out. And they're going to call foul. So they call that one on Lankford. It's 34 18. 7.46 to go here in the third. And it is Kate Mankin to bring it down. Three pointer connects. Lucy Plankovich with the three. Passes to Lankford into the corners. Lexi Smith swinging it around to Dean. Back to Kaylee Smith. Now to Smith. And it, it will be Lankford passing to Kaylee Miller to Kaylee Dean. To Lankford, passes to Lexi Miller in the corner. Passes to Smith for three. No good, rebounded Lankford, no good. Rebounded Lankford again, and it goes. Lankford with the two-pointer. 36-20 with 6.53 left in this third quarter. They'll pass it to Yoder. Yoder passes to Arville. They pass it to Mankin. Mankin passes to Plankovich. Plankovich for three, no good. Rebounded, no, it's swatted away and that will be Chill Howie Lady Indians ball. It will be Dean to pass it in. Langford will bring it down the court. Gets to the volleyball line. Passes to the corner to Dean. To Kaylee Miller, they're swinging it around. Smith to Lankford passes to Lexi Miller in the corner. They're swinging it around. Lankford for three, no good. Rebounded by Luther and Plankovich is going to bring it down the court. Plankovich driving, shooting, no good. Rebounding, and it's no good. Another rebound by Plankovich, and it's no good. It will be Dean, and it's going to be Lu not Lutheran. Chill Howie, Lady Indians ball, and it will be Haley Jenkins in for Kaylee Miller. They'll pass it in to Lankford. Lankford will bring it down the court this time. Half court line passes to Smith. Smith passes back to Lankford to Lexi Miller. M Miller to Smith. Smith at the top of the key passes to Lexi Miller. Passes to Smith. Smith for three. Good! It's her first bucket of the game, and it's a big one. Makes it a 39-20 lead, Braxton. It, they'll pass it to Donch, and it's a turnover. Lankford's going to fade, fade shot no good. They're going to call a foul. Riley Dean's already got three threes in the game, Braxton. If she can get three in the second half, she would break the tournament record of threes in a game, which is five held by Lacey Collins of Kingsville last year. Wow. And there's a sub on the court. Harmon in for Yoder. It will be Jenkins pass it in to Lexi Miller. Miller step. Oh, they're going to call block before she stepped out of bounds. They're going to call it on number 15, Aravalo, her second, team second. It will be Dean to pass it in. 
Dean passes to Lexi Miller. Lexi going to shoot it. It's good. Lexi Miller with the two-pointer gets him a 21-point lead. And it's Mankin driving, shooting, no good, rebounded by Lexi Miller. Miller's going to push it ahead to Langford. Langford, what a pass. Just couldn't connect. And it will be Casey Lutheran. It will be Plankovich to bring it up. Pass it to the wing to Mankin. Mankin passes to Plankovich for two. No good. Rebounded by number two, Harmon. And she will, it will be tipped by Jenkins. It will be Lutheran ball. And there's a timeout. So Howie going to call the timeout with 4.32 to go. Oh, nope. They called, Lutheran called the timeout. 30-second timeout. We're just going to leave it here. So 41-20 our score, 21-point lead by the Lady Indians with 4.32 to go here in the third quarter. Welcome back to Drexel, Missouri. 41-20, Charlie Lady Indians lead. It will be Lutheran Plankovich, no good on the, they're gonna call a foul. Who will that be on? They're gonna call it on Kaylee Miller, her second, team second. Two free throws for Plankovich. First free throws up and good. Second one is up and no good. It's going to be tipped by Lexi Miller and it will be Lutheran ball. And number 14, Siegfried comes in for Miller. It will be Mankin. Mankin at the wing. Passes into Plankovich. Mankin for the three. In and out. Rebound by Plankovich. No good. And a rebounded by Plankovich again. Plankovich, two is good. 41 23 with 410 left here in this third quarter. It was by Plankovich. Lankford at the top of the key passes to Gardner. Gardner passes to Lankford in the Kate, not Kaylee, Lexi Miller. Kicks it out for three, no, in and out. Rebounded by Lexi, no good. Rebounded by Lexi again, no good. And it will be rebounded by Harmon. Harmon will dribble it down the floor. And it will be Mankin. Mankin drives, fouled. She'll head to the line for two shots. Ollie Siegfried in the game for the first time tonight. <clears throat> 3.40 to go here in the third, 41-23. In and out and back in, first free is good by Mankin. Back to a 17-point game. Here comes the second free throw. Free throw's up, free throw is no good. And they're gonna call a foul on Lutheran. They're going to call it on Plinkovich. Th third team foul. Her the game. Gardner will pass it in to Lankford. Lankford at half court. Gets to the volleyball line. Passes to Dean. Dean looks for Lankford. Turn over. It'll be Plinkovich to bring it up. Plinkovich at half court. Now to the volleyball line. Passes to Mankin. Mankin. And it's thrown away, but... Recovered by Yoder. Yoder to Plinkovich. Plinkovich going to drive. Jumper, no good. Rebounded, no. It's tipped. And it will be 
Arvolo and drive by Mankin. Mankin hits the jumper. Lankford to bring it down for the Lady Indians. 41-26 now, back to a 15-point game. So Lexi Miller, and they're going to call a foul on Lutheran. They're going to call that one on Arvalo. That's her third. It's been a 6-0 run here. Dean passes in Lankford. Lankford jumper, good. Knocks that one down, makes it 43-26. Back the other way it goes. It will be Mankin to bring it down. Mankin at the top of the key, passes to Yoder. Yoder passes back to Mankin, back to Yoder, and no good, rebounded by... Siegfried. Siegfried. And Lankford passes to Gardner. Gardner, it's blocked. Gardner's fouled. Two shots, I believe so. They're going to call that one on five. Five. Elizabeth Yoder, that is her fourth foul of the game. First one is up and no good. And it is number double zero, Olivia Smith in four. Siegfried. Second one is no good. Rebounded by Arvlo. And it will be Mankin to bring it down the court. No look pass to Harmon. Passes to Plinkovich. Plinkovich to Mankin. No good. Rebounded by the Lady Indians. Dean with the rebound. Lankford will bring it down. A little too much dribbling there. Driving, kicks it out. Dean for three, no good. Rebounded by Plankovic. Plankovic will bring it up for the Lady Knights. They'll kick it to Dumpsch. Dumpsch to Mankin, no good on the three. Rebounded, no good. Another no good, and they're going to call the foul there. That shot was missed by number two. Avery Harmon. And they're going to call that foul on number 21, Haley Lankford. That is her third foul of the day. First free throw is up. First free throw is good. It's now a 43-27 to ball game. Second free throw coming up. Second one is up, and it is in. No basket. Violation. Who was it on? The shooter. So it was on Avery Harmon, and it will be Chilhowee Indians ball. It will be Lankford to bring it up. She's at half court. She's going to hand it off to Smith. Smith at the volleyball line is going to... Gonna keep dribbling passes to Gardner, passes to Dean. Dean into Lexi Miller and it's stolen away, but they're gonna try to save it. It will be the Lady Indians basketball. It will be Dean to pass it in. 110 left here in the third quarter. Dean passes it in to Lankford. Lankford at the volleyball line. Up the key now. She's gonna dribble some more passes to Lexi Miller. Miller out to Smith to Dean. Into Lexi Miller, no good, rebounded by... Dom. It was Dompsch. Passed and almost stolen and tripping and all of that stuff. And they're gonna call that foul on Gardner. That is her second foul, team's fifth. The free throw is up. Nope, no good. Here's the second free throw coming up. 43-27, 55.1 seconds left. Free throw is no good, rebounded by Dean. Dean's gonna bring it down the court. 
She's at the wing, passes to Smith. Smith's going to pass it to Lankford. Lankford back to Smith. Smith passes to Lankford. Lankford into Lexi Miller. Miller passes out to Dean for three. Yes! <laughs> Dean's fourth, two away from breaking the three-point record here at the William D. Gordon Holiday Classic. One more will tie it, and two would break it. No good rebounded by Arl, though. And they're uh, going to call a jump ball. It will be Lutheran ball. We're about to the end of the third, so I just want to let you know Braxton's going to take over for the rest of the game. He's doing well. He's doing way better than I do anyway. So I'm going to let him take over the rest of the fourth quarter, and he will have our broadcast of the last game of the night, Chill Howie versus Man Drexel. Man no good. As I will be down there coaching. Hopefully he can hold it together up here broadcasting, not getting mad <laughs> if we don't do something correctly. Brax Braxton, Braxton is uh, giving me that look, though, like you better do good. Man can no good no on good. that. No good. And there's one second. No good. No the shot doesn't count. And that will in the third quarter. 46 to 27. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back after this. Everyone needs a little kickstart at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so head to Sonic of Harrisonville and kick away the afternoon fog. Grab an ice cold drink full of caffeine and kickstart your afternoon and evening. The best part, 2 to 4 is happy hour and drinks are half price. Grab an afternoon snack of cheesy bites or jalapeno poppers or order on the app for happy hour anytime. Sonic Happy Hour, where you kick away the fog. Also, visit 4Ts.com and sign up for the Sonic Kick Return Contest. It always seems to happen. We buy new tires and a week later we run over a nail. Not a problem when you have purchased your tires at Young's Tire and Wheel Center. You get the free flat repair for the life of your tires. On a budget, Young's has the best selection of new and used tires to save a little extra money. When the time comes for new tires, stop at the shop 4T's Trust to keep them rolling down the highway. Young's Tire and Wheel Center on South Commercial in Harrisonville. Welcome back to Drexel, Missouri. It will be the Lady Indians ball. It will be Smith to inbound it. It will be Smith to pass it into Lankford. Lankford passes to Gardner. Gardner is going to pass it to Lankford. Lankford on the wing, pass it to Gardner, swinging it around to Smith. Smith back to Gardner at the top of the key. She's going to pivot and pass to Lankford. Lankford into Dean. Dean goes up, no good. Rebounded by Arvalo. And it will be Mankin to bring it down. Passes to Yo, not Yoder, Donch. Now passes to Arvalo. Passes to Harmon. Harmon's gonna pass it to Arvalo. Arvalo driving in, passes it back out to Harmon. And the three is no good. A reminder. Chilhowie Lady Indians, Riley Dean is one three away from tying the record for most three-pointers made in a William D. Gordon Holiday Classic basketball game. They'll pass it to Miller. Lexi Miller passes it in to Lankford. Lankford, no good. Rebound, no good. And there, she's going to get fouled. They're going to call the foul on number 23, Kate Mankin. Her third foul of the game. And Riley Dean will go to the line to shoot two free throws. First free throw is up and no good. Just missed there. This will be a free throw coming up. And it's up. 
and no good. Short, rebounded by Harmon. Harmon passes ahead to Domsch. Domsch, and it's a turnover. No, and that's a turnover now. Lankford turns it over. And that's Yoder with the ball and turns that over. And call the foul. They're going to call on Elizabeth Yoder. That's her fifth, and she has fouled out. Yoder fouls out of the ball game. Yoder had two points, and she is now fouled out. It will be Lankford down to, to hand it off to Smith, back to Lankford. It's, and she isn't out of bounds. It will be Plinkensley, and it will be Miller with the steal. It will be Smith now, and she's going to get pushed. They call a travel before the push. It'll be Plankovic to inbound. Passes into Mankin. Mankin in about midcourt passes to Plankovic. Plankovic passes to Harmon. Harmon back to Plankovic. Plankovic passes to Harmon. Harmon over to Domsch. Domsch passes to Plankovic. Plankovic going to drive, layup, no good, fouled. They're going to call that on number 21, Haley Lankford. That is her fourth. And, and the first free throw is good by Plankovic. Subbing in is Kaylee Miller for Lauren Gardner. Plankovic, this is the second free throw. Second one is up, and it is good. 46-29, it will be Lankford to bring it up the court. Lankford at midcourt, passes to Smith. Smith passes to Lexi Miller. Miller's going to pass to, and is she going to shoot the three? No, she isn't. That She would make a three that would tie. No, Smith shoots it and connects. Olivia Smith with the three-pointer. And it is Mankin passing to Domsch. Domsch, no good, rebounded, jump ball. That will go to Casey Lutheran Knights. And it will be Arevalo to pass it in. She gets it in to Harmon. Harmon's going to pass it to Plankovic. Plankovic at the top of the key. She's going to dribble. And she's going to pass to Domsch. Domsch passes back to Plankovic. And it's good. We have a timeout on the floor. Full timeout. We're going to take a break. And we will be right back after these commercials. When my family opened the first Culver's in Sauk City, Wisconsin, you know what we did? We gave it our all, making sure everyone felt welcome, sharing our favorite foods from around the state, like butter burgers and fresh frozen custard, greeting every guest with all our heart, crafting each meal with care, believing a smile makes everything taste better. And it's a tradition we bring with us yet today, from our hometown to yours. Welcome to Delicious. One of the most important decisions you make is who cuts your hair. Don't trust just anyone. Trust Josh and the crew at Fades. From a simple cleanup to a full cut. Or maybe you need to be extra good for the big game with a design. They will take care of you. Coach Grammer trusts the guys at Fades, and so should you. Located just behind Sonic off McGuire. Go see them today. Or visit their Facebook to set up an appointment. Ooh. 
welcome back to Drexel, Missouri. 49-31 is your score. Lady Indians up with 450 left, and it will be Lankford to bring it down the court. Lankford, Dean sets the pick. Lankford's going to drive, shot. They got a foul on the floor. Nope, they're going to call. They're going to call that foul on Lexi Miller, an offensive foul. I could not see what was happening there. And it is now Mankin to bring it down. Mankin to Plankovich. Plankovich for three. No good. The coach touched it. And it will be the Lady Indians ball. It will be Lankford to bring it down the court. Lankford at half court. Now the volleyball line. She's going to drive, get fouled, and one. <laughs> Haley Lankford. And one opportunity. And one free throw. Free throw is up and good. 52-31 is your score. It is Mankin. Mankin passes to Plankovich, gets her own turnover back and it's stolen by Lankford. Lankford's gonna have it. She's gonna pass to Smith. Smith to Miller. Miller, good drive, no good. Rebounded by Dean, which will make the basket. Fifty-four thirty-one is your score. Lady Indians are winning. And Plankovich passes to Harmon. Harmon and pass it over to Domsch. And it's a turnover. I think no foul. One three-pointer will tie the record for for Dean. To Lexi Miller. To Lankford, what a pass! And it will be Plankovich to bring it up the court. Passes to Arvalo. Passes to Mankin. Mankin kind of shoved her, no good. Rebounded by Miller. And Lankford's going to bring it up the court. Gonna pass to Lexi Miller. What a cut by Kaylee Miller, and she drills the basket. Kaylee Miller, Lexi's sister, with the basket. She has four in the game. Last two minutes of this one. Double dribble on Orvalo. 205 left, and they're going to call a timeout. Full timeout by bus. We're going to take a quick timeout. We're going to be right back after this. Everyone needs a little kickstart at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so head to Sonic of Harrisonville and kick away the afternoon fog. Grab an ice cold drink full of caffeine and kickstart your afternoon and evening. The best part, 2 to 4 is happy hour and drinks are half price. Grab an afternoon snack of cheesy bites or jalapeno poppers or order on the app for happy hour anytime. Sonic Happy Hour, where you kick away the fog. Also, visit 4 and sign up for the Sonic Kick Return Contest. It always seems to happen. We buy new tires and a week later we run over a nail. Not a problem when you have purchased your tires at Young's Tire and Wheel Center. You get the free flat repair for the life of your tires. On a budget, Young's is the best selection of new and used tires to save a little extra money. When the time comes for new tires, stop at the shop 4T's Trust to keep them rolling down the highway. 
Young's Tire and Wheel Center on South Commercial in Harrisonville. Welcome back to Drexel, Missouri. Gardner has the ball, and she turns it over. Lutheran's going to get the easy layup by Mankin. 58-33, 1 minute, 45 seconds left. Dean is out of the game. She ha she ends the game with four three-pointers. What was one away from tying the record for most three-pointers made in a William D. Gordon Holiday Classic game. And it will be Jenkins to inbound it. Jenkins passes to Connor, no good. Rebounded by Siegfried. Siegfried for three, no good. Rebounded by Lutheran. Domsch with the rebound. Domsch is going to drive. No foul call now. No good. Rebounded. No good. And another offensive rebound by Mankin. Mankin no good. And the rebound by Siegfried. 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 And another turnover. Plinkovich gets the two-pointer. And it's back with 13 points. Officials timeout. Gardner tying her shoe. Back to the action. It will be Lady Indians basketball. Pass to Gardner. Gardner dribbles and it was a pass to Siegfried. They're going to call a double dribble. It will be Lutheran ball. 54.9 seconds left in this one. There's the Chihuahua Indians down by the doors getting ready for their game against Drexel. And 58-35, it will be Siegfried to inbound it. Siegfried will get it to Gardner. No, she won't. She will do a long pass to Jenkins. And now it is back in Siegfried's hands. And she's going to turn it over. It is Mankin. No good. Rebounded by Plinkovich. Plinkovich outside. Passes into Mankin. Mankin. No good. Rebounded by Lauren Gardner. Jump ball will be Chilhawi Lady Indians basketball. 26.0 seconds left in this one. And it will be Siegfried to pass it in to Jenkins. Jenkins passes to Morris. And Morris will turn it over. Morris trying to get back on defense, but nope. Mankin with the basket. And it will be Lorne Gardner to bring it up. And that will do it. 58-37 the final here in the sixth game of the William D. Gordon Holiday Classic. 58-37 your final. Final and your next game will be the Chilhawi Indians seven seed against the two seed Drexel Bobcats. We're gonna take a quick break. There will be a new game for the Drexel Chilhawi game. 58-37, your final. You are listening to 4T Streaming at in Drexel, Missouri. <laughs> 